Hello folks, I'm OdinSpac33, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, part number 59, I think. On the last part, I got you guys to decide on a title for me, but other than that, we also cleared Shuri Hill, and we, uh, we made it so that St. Bina is not going to uh, suffer the same fate as Xeriuth, which is good. Uh, what that title is, by the way, I don't know. I'll probably decided after I'm done recording. There were some good ideas in there. But anyway, we gotta head back to the surface because we just learned that Engave might suffer the same fate, so we're gonna have to save everybody there. So we're heading right back. Oh, sorry. I thought there might be, um... Okay. I thought there was going to be voice acting, but I guess there isn't. Alright. I guess not all of them are there, so. Alright, there we go. We can ride in the uh, Albior again. So now, how, like I mentioned in the last part. Was the last part now? Might have been. Uh, no, it was two parts ago now, I believe. I tried doing that. Because I didn't actually start Shuri Hill. Like, I didn't really start it until the last part. But I did, I did actually enter it two parts ago. Anyway, there is, there's a little spot on the map near Yulia City. There it is. There's a black spot right there, and that is how we are going to get back up to the surface. Which is kind of weird. You think you could just fly up uh, anywhere? Like, I mean, where Axarius fell, you would think there would be just a big old hole, but I guess not. All right. Power of the Sephiroth can be used. Like, why does it have to lift? It flies. <laughs> okay, so this is how you get back to and from the cliff off to the Outer Lands. And there we go. Now everything's all bright and stuff. And I guess there's a cutscene. This isn't good. Both armies could be completely wiped out. Yeah, we're above the Rugnica Plains. The Sephiroth tree below is already gone. This must be what my brother was trying to accomplish. What do you mean? He wanted to eradicate the people of the Outer Lands. He knew from the score about the war in the Rugnica Plains. He eliminates the Shuri Hill Tree, causing both armies to fall quite efficient. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know what his reasons are, but what he's doing is insane. If they're fighting here, then Kimlaska's main force must be at Kaitsua. I'll make them cease hostilities. I'm concerned about Engave as well. It's likely to be targeted as a strategic supply point. With St. Bina gone, that village is virtually defenseless. You mean it could be attacked and destroyed even before it falls? Jeez! 
Let's split up. One team will check on Engave, and the other will call for a ceasefire at Kitesur. I should go to Engave. Discussions won't even start without someone from the Malkuth military. And I'll go to Kitesur. Either one is fine with me. I have an idea. What about you, Luke? Alright, so we get to choose where Luke's gonna go. Uh, this... I can't remember what this exactly affects. Uh, oh yeah, it determines what uh, enemies you'll actually fight, I'm pretty sure. Um... I think Luke's... he's gonna go to Engave. I'll go to Engave. I owe the people there for their help, and I'm worried about them. Okay, how should we organize the teams? Is there anyone you want to take with you? Alright, so now we get to choose who's coming with us. Uh, basically, there's like two sides. There's like a Malkuth and a uh, Kim Laskin side. Natalia will be on the Kim Laskin side. And Jade will be on the Malkuth side, obviously, to try to persuade them to stop. So, if we got Luke on this team, and I'm guessing we're going to have Natalia, I think? Uh, actually, I'm not too sure. Uh, I think Endgave is the Malku side. I'm gonna take Tyr. I want to go with you. I get worried when I'm not watching you. Thanks for choosing me. Let's get to work. Please come with me, Ion. Okay. First, let's drop Natalia's team off at Kitesur. Then we'll head to Endgave in the Albion. Sounds good. Let's go. It's a good thing they're not even going to attempt to try to do anything with us in the LB or not shoot us down or anything. That's pretty good, isn't it? Very convenient. But yeah, so that team's got Guy, Natalia, and Annis. And this one's got the classic. It's got Luke, Tear, and Jade. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Why it has this with Tear first, I don't know. We're definitely using Luke. That's not even a mistake or an argument. Alright, so if you try to buy things here now, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be ridiculously priced. Yeah, look at the prices of the stuff. Not only that, most of the stuff is sold out. Um, I think you can take advantage of this though. Yeah. Uh, you can sell some stuff for some pretty high prices right now. So if you want to make a quick buck... Uh, you can actually make some money off of a lot of this stuff, so I'd recommend selling any equipment that uh, you might have that you want to, you know, sell off. I don't think we need this wizard's cane anymore, so yeah, we'll get rid of that too. Uh, Undyne, do we need that anymore? No, I don't think we need that. What's the different? Yeah, it's weaker now, so yeah, we'll sell that. And we can sell off these battle suits. Battle Guard, Mystic Cloak. But yeah, look at the Geld we're getting for this, yeah. If you want to sell the Time Traveling Hero now, uh, this would be a good time to do it. It's worth 15,000 Geld. Uh, the thing is, this this stuff will go back down uh, in price uh, eventually. But if you want to make some money now, this is where you do it. Look at this, Song of Water. I could sell, I could make 30,000 Geld off that. No, but I think we got enough to keep us going for a good long time now. So if if you want to try to make your way through the game without selling any of your stuff, uh, you can do it right now, and then you can make a pretty good buck or two. All right, there's actually another shop here. I don't know when it ever becomes. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna show it off here. I can't. Is it here? It's somewhere in this screen. I think he just kind of looks like a merchant. Somewhere here. This guy? Yeah, okay, so this guy sells weapons and whatnot. But I don't know when this ever becomes available. I don't know if we missed out on this opportunity or not. Because this is like the next stuff to get. Like, uh, all the equipment here is basically the next set of equipment. But it's all sold out. I don't know if there's something you have to do to activate this. Maybe I missed out on it. You might have to do something, some kind of side quest. I'm not too certain. Uh, I haven't played that far ahead. Well, not that I haven't played that far ahead. I've beaten this game several times, but... I just can't remember for the life of me if you have to do something. I think... 
the shop in here I'll be inflated to. I'm just kind of checking it out, just kind of showing off how, uh, yeah. Why would we ever even buy this? Why would we buy a cutlass for 3,000? Right? Magic lens for 100? Even less. Okay, the end's still okay. He doesn't even care. He's just like, whatever. Nothing's gone wrong, right? Alright, anyway, I think we have to talk to Rose, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's what we gotta do. Actually, yeah, it is. It totally is. Colonel, is it true that the front line is moving north? I think the defenses will hold a bit longer, but this village is in extreme danger. What should we do? We can't evacuate to Grand Kokma. They've already activated the capital's defenses. Yes, Grand Kokma becomes a fortress during wartime. Regardless, this continent is in danger. Think they could run all the way to Kessedonia? Yes, the Order holds a strong influence there. It should be safe despite the fighting nearby. But it would be impossible to take the entire population aboard the Albior. Though having them cross the battlefield on foot is no safer. Could you take just the children and the elderly on that Al... what's it called? The rest of us will stay here and surrender to the Kimloskan army. You'll still be in danger of the land falling. Falling? Wait, you mean like Saint Bina and Xeriuth? Unfortunately, yes. Then we'll run to Kessedonia on foot. At least the bridge has been repaired. Let's leave the Albior to Noel, so we can escort those who are walking. Luke. Yes, let's do that. But I think we will need more than just us. I'll speak with the Engave Standing Forces. If they could spare even one platoon to protect our rear, If she finishes transporting them earlier than expected, she'll return here. Though I wouldn't get my hopes up. Yeah, there's no telling how many trips she'll have to make. At least the Malkuth army lent us troops. We won't have to watch her back. Yeah, anyway, let's just make sure that everyone makes it there safely. Okay, finally I get to talk. It's kind of cool that they each have different dialogue. I mean, Luke wouldn't necessarily be here, nor would Tyr. So I'm sure there's all sorts of crazy combinations that could occur with that scene. I'm pretty sure you will eventually control Natalia's group as well, but maybe you don't have to talk with them. So maybe only it would only just be um, dialogue for Guy and Annis as well. Uh, anyway, uh, we gotta leave town, so... We gotta make it to Kessedonia, and the objective here is to not fight anybody. Uh, I believe there are different rewards and whatnot for doing this, so just stay away and just try and get to um, the bridge without getting into any fights. This is really hard. I don't, I don't know if there's a difference between the different like Oracle and and Kim Lask uh, Kim Laskin armies. I'm gonna rest here for now. Oh we managed to make it safely, uh play some more trouble. Okay, we're not even halfway there yet. That's cool. For some reason it turned nighttime, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, we were on board the Tartarus. The name of Marco, I feel like uh Yeah. We met him. <laughs> What's he doing now? Actually, your son is... Oh, Jade is uh, letting him know that he's dead. Okay. I didn't think he'd actually... I think he might have gave it to him nicely. Oh, okay. He's going to tell me that he died honorable. Okay. Alright. Child one day ate a great noble man. Okay. Still really upset about the score and everything learning a little bit of story yeah 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 
I I don't know why this part is in voiceover to be honest. I guess they could only put so much effort into voiceovering the different scenes. Oh, we even get healed. Yeah, don't fight any enemies. Just don't. I think there's some stuff you can get, but don't do it. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Maybe we should go this way. There's, there's uh, one of the bridges here. I think it'll turn nighttime. Right around here again. Yeah. They're pretty nice like that. It would have sucked if an enemy spawned like right on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't be able to do anything. Alright, we're only halfway there now. I think I'm going to cut the, uh, the video once. Uh, I don't know how someone is wounded here. We haven't fought anything. Okay. Not to worry, take someone else instead. I mean, really, it's one extra person. They couldn't get this this girl on board. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the video when we switch over to the other group. Because I don't want to... Uh... What, am I, what am I even saying? I don't want this video to be as long as the Shuri Hill one. So. Okay, so... Tyr is going to uh, heal up... Uh, them. Alright. I'm sorry if I'm kind of skipping through this too. You can read what's going on. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. She lost her family due to the Xerius incident and Luke didn't want to say anything. Or Luke wanted to say something, but Jade told him not to because he didn't want to start any unnecessary arguments. That's what that was all about. So there you go. We're almost there. I don't think there's any more night time after this. Just follow this path and we'll get there. It's not too hard, but the thing is, you can't... If I think if you get relatively close to the enemies, you'll attack them. So that's why you want to stay. Okay. Just stay alert and see us through. I'm guessing someone else is going to talk to us. Yes, yeah, this woman again. Okay. Our foot's better, so that's good, because Tyr healed her up. I remember the Oracle Knights. Parents worried about you. <laughs> no, Tyr, they're both dead. Okay. Lost my husband and son. Felt like a hole opened up in my heart. Alright. Oh, also, I forgot to mention the whole cutscene that happened. Okay, it's... There's no way this war is going to go on for 10 years. We're not going to let that happen. But the whole cutscene makes it me feel like the it was like done by two different groups. Because you see cutscenes like that. like You see how the war, it looked kind of like all like stop motion-ish. And then you see the other cutscenes and they look really nice. Like the Albior um, going into the cliff off or whatever. Like you can just, I feel like you can tell it was animated by two different two different groups it just it doesn't look right <laughs> it does look cool though I I do appreciate all the different um, different anime and stuff like that okay hopefully there's nothing else here all right there we go we made it now just switch over to the other group I don't know if we'll even get a cutscene we might oh we do now it's just regular enemies uh, this would probably be a good point to uh, I'm not gonna fight anything still though this might be a, just a good point to end it before we switch over to the other group. But I'm not sure how much there is left. No, I'll, I'll wait till it gets over there and then we'll end it. I'm pretty sure once we get to Chesedonia, it'll just be like, let's switch over to Natalia. And there should be a save point. There's a save point in Kate Sewer. Alright. There we go. We're at Chesedonia. So there, there we go. Not too hard. Alright, finally made it. Didn't lose a single villager. A few did trip and injure themselves. Yeah, so you'll get rewarded, I believe, now. Based on the fact we didn't fight anybody. Alright, yeah. So we get an hourglass, and a magical pouch, and ether slash, and a life bottle. Okay, so we get a bunch of uh, rewards for doing that. So don't fight any enemies, because they're, they're, in theory, good guys. Flattery won't get you anywhere. Alright.
General Cecile! Go on ahead. Princess Natalia, you're alive! Yes, there's no longer any reason to fight. Call your troops back at once! My deepest apologies, but I lack that authority. Lieutenant General Almondine is in command of this operation. Then take us to him! Unfortunately, he's headed to Casedonia to meet with Grand Maestro Mose. Casedonia? How does a commander leave the battlefield in the middle of a war? We need recognition from the Order that this operation is justified retribution. He went there for the proceedings. Hey, that's for Ion to decide. Mose is making me seriously mad. That's merely a formality. But I expected this might happen. Perhaps I should have stayed in Doth. If you'd done that, they'd have used you to open the Sephiroth seals. But you have to! The battlefield is going to fall! Are you saying Malkuth has a weapon that can do that? No! That's not what it is, but it's dangerous. I don't really understand, but unfortunately I lack the authority to pull the troops back. Then I'll go see Count Almondine. Traveling by sea is dangerous in wartime. I cannot permit Her Highness to board a ship. General Cecile, preparations are complete. Understood. I'm keeping my troops waiting. I apologize, Your Highness, but I must be going. I'll inform the authorities at the Kitsur port of your presence. Please await their escort. Be careful. What? Oh, yes. Thank you. If we're taken to Kitsur, we won't be able to do anything. Let's go to Kesedonia by land. If we're going to Kesedonia, I suppose that's the only way. It's too dangerous. I can't let you do that. But it means we'll be able to meet with Count Almondine. Once he learns we're alive, he should understand that this war is meaningless. Let's go, Annis. If you give the order, I have to follow. <sighs> I know better than to try to stop you. I'll go too. But be careful, okay? If you die, it defeats the entire purpose. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, finally done with cutscenes. Finally save this and end the video. Because there should be a save point in here, I would imagine. Yeah, there's no shops at all in here. I guess. Oh yeah, because the soldiers are running it. That makes sense. All right, thank you guys for watching. Next time we're going to proceed with Natalia's group to Kessedonia. Try not to do basically the exact same thing we did with Luke. So, I guess Guy didn't really fit in that cutscene. He barely had anything to say, whereas Tira at least kind of spoke up during the other side. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.